Hello and uh, welcome back from the car. Uh, today I have an uh, OBD uh, tool, tool and it's from Xtool and it's the Advancer AD10. And uh, it is a Bluetooth device. It has a QR code just to install it on uh, Android and iPhone, I think, but I, I use it on my iPhone. And you just need to find your uh, diagnose plug and it's usually in the middle console or just underneath the steering wheel. And in the older cars, I remember it could be on the right at your uh, feet also on the on the passenger side. Uh, but I know here it's it's on my side underneath the steering wheel on the left, and I can just plug it in. And it, and it's actually a nice uh, little device. I really need to open the box still because it's really uh, just new. I just received it. And uh, well, the good thing is it's Bluetooth, so I don't need any any cables. And, oops. And uh, this is it. It is nice and uh, nice and small. Um, it just takes the power uh, from the plug itself, so I don't need any uh, batteries. As you can see, it's that Fonzer AD10. And uh, I like that it is not square because I also have another one and that is uh, all square. And if it sticks a little bit out, you can hit it with your knee. And then. Uh, of course that hurts, but this is round, and if so it uh, doesn't, I will have a look if I can see the other one. It is also Bluetooth. No, it's even Wi-Fi, this one. They are also known. I will test that one later with another app. Uh, but it's Wi-Fi, so uh, yeah, it is also a little bit bigger. So indeed it sticks out now, because it's underneath the steering where your knees are. So I prefer the smaller one, as you can see. But we're gonna play with uh, both. So I start with this one. I will try if I can use my screen recorder so you can see the process of installing it on the on the phone. Oh, it's all in the car, so it's a little bit shaky, but I try to not shake too much. And if we look here, there is a compartment. It looks like a fuse box. Let me see if I can open this. Yes, I can open it. As you can see, I will zoom in. You have this uh, plug here, and that's the diagnose plug. And we should just plug it, plug it in there. Oh, sorry, I need a little bit of space. Like this. The other way around. Okay. So that's good. It doesn't take too much space. You already see that the Bluetooth is trying to connect. At least it's blinking, so let's see what happens if we... I go back to the screen recorder.
So that was uh, th that were the two adapters, one uh, with the Bluetooth, the other one with uh, with the wireless. Um, the first one with the Bluetooth was very specific for that uh, has its own app and it looked really sleek. The other one are just general uh, general apps and, and maybe they even connect uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, I never tried that. Um, I was stationary with the car. You saw sometimes it was doing 1500 uh, idle, but uh, my car is a hybrid. Sometimes it needs to charge the battery. Um, so that was why. I will try to do some um, a performance test with a Bluetooth one just to see what it does. But I need to, and now I'm just uh, in the city, so I need to find the empty space because we need to be safe. And um, so that's that, I will do that. But I have another one. Uh, I don't have a rough counter in my car because it's hybrid and it's an automatic drive. So there is not too much that you can do to really control the revs except using the kick down or not. Uh, so they thought it's not needed. But the newer model <laughs> has a rev counter. Uh, so uh, because I didn't have, I thought oh, I can use the OBD2. So I have here also one. And this is some sort of little dashboard that you can add. But the uh, OBD2 is not that fast. So it does show you how many refs it does. It shows um, uh, the battery uh, coolant, also my, my, my coolant temperature or oil temperature, because I don't have also that I don't have in my, my display. I can, but then I need to, to switch it over. So I like to see when the engine is warm, so I can, I can use more force on the engine. Uh, but I need to switch it over all the time. Because also I like to see my consumption and I cannot see it at the same time. So uh, I thought, okay, I can put here my temperature and my fuel economy. And meanwhile, I have my ref counter here. Uh, but it was kind of slow, but I'm just gonna show you that it also works. And this one actually has a very long flat cable, which is very convenient. And the plug again is also very short, which is also convenient because then you don't hit it with your knees. As you could see, the, the adapter for, with the Wi-Fi was, uh, was a bit uh, longer. And uh, you just plug it in with the USB in the, in the bottom. And there is also uh, a nice uh, feed, so you can just stick it on top of your uh, dashboard uh, no, let, let's connect okay it's going to be a little bit uh, shaky because i'm holding it um, and there is a lot of sunlight which is nice for the weather but you cannot really see very well my display well i already plugged it in as you can see i just put it down in my middle console and uh, it switched itself off. So let's see if I start the car. Switch it on. Uh, yeah, so now we have uh, speed and the time. I have no clue where he gets the time from, but apparently it knows. And there is a here on the top. Oh, it's really shaky, I'm sorry. Here on the top, you can switch it so I can go. Then, so uh, well, I wasn't able to do uh, any performance testing with the adapter, but uh, experience is it runs on GPS and then it needs to determine the speed that way and a little bit from the OBD2. So it's not that accurate. Uh, I live in a very dense area, so I couldn't do uh, it safely. So I decided not to do it. And uh, so that's it. I hope you got a uh, pretty good idea of what the adapter can do. And uh, you get a lot of information uh, from it. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time.